What is the crack and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a prop hunt effect where you can turn into the props like in Gary's mod. So this is what it looks like here real quick just to show you. So you're able to run up to the can and become the can or you run up to the table chair thing and you become the chair. So I also have an enemy here following me so just make him go away. Okay, so let me show you how to do it. The first thing you would want to do is make the prop or two that you want to become. So I just used a cylinder for the can. You can probably do the same and then I just threw on the black hole effect that I made a few episodes ago. It's just a normal texture. You can put anything you want on it. Uh, I also just used a cube or two for this to make up the chair as you can see. Actually, I used a cube, sorry, and a plane. That's why you can only see the top of the chair part from a certain angle. Once you've made a prop or two, you can put them anywhere in the world you want. But then you also have to put them attached to your player. If you don't have a player in your game, right-click, uh, import new package, and then click characters. Then when you bring in your character, you will have, you'll have to go up into your standard assets, characters, first person or third person I'm using the third person you can use first person if you want but you're not really gonna notice that you changed and then you parent them <coughs> sorry about that then you parent them to your player as you can see my can is parented to my player right here and my chair is also parented to the player don't parent them to your camera or to your uh, see here Eaton body that Eaton's body that's what the default uh, body is don't do it to that or the skeleton or the main camera make sure you drag it into your third person controller or you'll get some weird effects and also I had them on it but I ended up turning it off don't use a, a box collider don't use any type of collider because you'll be using your original characters collider if you do it'll end up I'll actually show you what happens if you do end up doing it so on the can I will add a box collider and now let me show you what happens if you end up having a box collider on it. So if you run over here, I'm stuck. Thank you enemy. If you become a can, as you can see, I'm not pressing anything on my keyboard. I'll actually just turn. I'm not touching the keyboard at all. So your character constantly moves forward if you have a box collider. So don't use any type of colliders. And when you create your can or your chair, create a new tag and call it can call it chair but don't do it on the ones that are on your player do it to the ones you are interacting with so if you click this you'll see up at the top it's labeled chair if I click the can it is labeled in my game there it's that I froze there for a second it's also called can so I can actually duplicate these and put loads them in the world if I so wish and the script will work regardless because of the tag so let me just put another let me put another can a good bit away just to show you that it works regardless so if I run over to this can oop, I can become it just by pressing E so let me show you the script the script is fairly simple I'm the reason I took that long to explain it is because I'm literally just going to show you the script. I'm not going to, I'm going to explain it, but I'm not going to type it out, which is because I need to explain it a little bit. So I am using C Sharp. You want to make uh, a public and make it your player. So that's the player you make disappear. That's Eaton's body that I was talking about. That's why you don't want to put them on that because then they'll disappear. Um, your can is what you turn into as a can. And your chair is what you turn into as a chair. You can add loads more into this if you want. i just done it where you can swap in between the two if you so wish. So if you wanted to add more, you would literally just go public, ga uh, game object, and then name it whatever. But then in the start function, you would have to make sure that it is starting off as false. So if, just to show you, it would be public, game object, and then just say test. Then you would literally go in here and make sure test is false. I'm using a new mouse I just got there the other day, so sorry, I'm a little bit not used to it. And then uh, with this, you would go void on trigger stay. That's while you're colliding with it. 
Collider call again call can be whatever you so wish to be if call.gameobject.tag That's where you needed to tag your can can or your chair chair or test test whatever you wish Just so you know what it is then if input dot get key down key code e turn your player off which is Eaton's body then uh, make your can true because you're colliding with can you want to make your can true and you make your chair false again if you added more you would then have to go in and make test dot set active false also the more items you put into it I'm at the click on the wrong button there the more items you add into it the more you are gonna have to add into these so that would also be false and then you would do the exact same thing for your next one when you become a chair you would also make test false also so that I'll just delete test because again it's a test you don't need it and then when you press E if you're colliding with it you become the, the, the can and then in the other one you have if game object is equal to chair and you press E turn your player off turn chair true turn can off you can add a million more of these as I was saying but make it like box uh, door whatever you want uh, save all I don't don't think I needed to save that oh I didn't get rid of the test up here that's why okay and now you have to create on your player I'll show you is now letting the script save here real quick now when you go to your third person character I created an empty, or not an empty, I added a box to it, and I just called it pickup detection, which is gonna what you collide with. It's a box collider that goes about twice, three times the distance away from the player, just so you can have enough to detect with it, but without being in it where you'll start like glitching the box or whatever you collide with. And then set that to trigger, that's why in the script we had it to on trigger. You could have it on collision, but that means you physically have to be touching it for it to work I don't like doing that because you'll end up getting like if you collide with it the box or the chair or whatever will end up getting flung into the air the can will end up getting pushed over and if you are doing one of these like stealthy games where you're playing with other people they're gonna notice the can that fell over so they're gonna be like oh he's a can or he bumped into it so he's this direction type thing so not really the best thing to do so once you have the script completely done I'll just let you have another look at it just in case you didn't get it real quick you can pause it at any time to get it. Again, sorry that I'm not typing this out, which is, it's just, I want to explain how to do it first. And now when you put the script, make sure you put it on your third person controller or your first person controller if you're doing it as a first person. And then as you will see behind my big lovely face cam, if I was able to move it, there we go. You will see the script is here. So player, what we said in, click the wrong thing there. The player here is going to be Eaton's body, so drag Eaton into it. It's going to take a second for my computer to realize. Your can that is parented to your player is going to be can, and chair that's parented is going to be chair. Simple as that. That is it, pretty much. That is everything. If you do want to make it more complicated, again, you can add more stuff to it. I might do a second video on top of this to where if you're colliding with it you'll get like a notifier saying become chair or become table become box or whatever so i might have it where it actually pops up on the screen saying press e to become or whatever and um, i also have been working on these two or three new scripts so when see this enemy that's following you if you press c you become invisible and he runs away i've actually i done this about a month ago but i completely forgot about it so as you can see when he runs at you but then when you crouch because the way I said don't get rid of Eaton's body or get rid of Eaton's body not the player if you crouch it still works here but you don't become invisible but uh, it could be pretty cool to use in a game where if you're the can your player the enemies won't see you but if you're the player they will so if you're you've run into a corner boom hide do you run away or go back to their normal position another two things or one thing I can't remember that I've been working on is the skill tree slash leveling up system for sketches so when you press i to bring up your um what is it called your inventory 
you can see their level is level 3, skill points is 3, experience currently is 22 and your next level you need is 30. Like your, the experience you need to get to the next level is 30. So if I run over and shoot him, you'll actually notice that the experience is going up. And boom, we leveled up. And also if I quit the game and come back into it, it also saves what your experience and leveling was. So, if you want to see that in a future video, please let me know and I will try my best to do it. Again, this was a very simplistic um, prop hunt, like setup type thing. If you do want to make it more complicated, again, all you need to do is go in here, add another game object, create another tag for the object, and literally just copy this, paste it down below, swap out the tag, and swap out what you want to become. It's fairly simple to be honest but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up let me know if there is a few more things i should create i'm thinking of creating like a waterfall effect or something where textures kind of move around on the object Um, i might do how to do like fire or something for you guys if you want to create like some elemental type stuff i'm not the best when it comes to um particle systems but i'll I'll learn to get myself a little bit better at them. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this again. I hope you did enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you in another video real fucking soon. Bye.